Good morning, everybody. Oh, it may actually be afternoon at this point. It is. It's afternoon. Oh, my gosh. You can see I'm wearing the same clothes. I'm trying. I'm on a roll here now, and I'm just trying to get my videos out so that I can remember what I've told you and not forget it. I have to do these videos in the series so that while I remember it. Okay. So, like I just said, we're doing a series on why maybe you should be thinking about going tiny. Things that maybe you haven't thought about. I'm Christine. Welcome back to my tiny retirement. I want to take a second and ask you to please, if you have not already done so, click that subscribe button. Click the subscribe button. Hit the notify all so that you are you are sure to be notified every time we publish a video. And make sure you click like because that really helps. That really helps support our channel. Um, so today we are at number 11 for reasons you should be thinking about maybe, maybe you should be thinking about going tiny. Do you ever feel like your neighbors have sealed their driveway? So now you feel like you have to seal your driveway. The neighbors have put in a new flower bed and it looks so pretty. Well, you don't want to be the one to look have a shabby looking yard so you put in a new flower bed you know what I'm talking about the keeping up with the Joneses thing that was something I wanted to get out of I've never been into it never cared what the neighbors were doing we did our own thing but I know there are a lot of people that that matters to and I get it. I can see why. You know, I get it. If you go tiny, maybe you can eliminate that. Or at least put it on a much smaller scale. If you're in a tiny house community, the expense of putting in a new flower bed is going to be something along the lines of grabbing a few terracotta pots and sticking them out front. This business of I have to paint my house because the neighbor has painted their house or I need to do something because the neighbors have because we want to be consistent. Not necessarily out of pettiness so don't take it that way. Um, but you want to make sure if neighbors are improving their home that you want to do the same. You know you all it's just nature, you know, it's just natural human instinct. Going tiny, I can tell you right now, our home is so different from everybody around us. We're already so far outside the box and so far out of the realm of what the neighbors are doing. And I can see them. I can watch them do that. One one of my neighbors laid down a new gravel driveway. They put new gravel down. Well, guess what? Neighbors, a, road or, a, a driveway or two down, did the same thing. And I'm like, yeah. I, I don't feel the need to keep up with the Joneses. If you are stuck in that, if that actually is you, maybe going tiny is a good, you know, a good solution to that. And yeah, I know, I'm kind of grasping at, you know, some ideas that maybe you haven't thought of yet, but I just, I'm trying to, I, I'm trying to think of everything that I possibly can think of that might be a good reason for you. Even if it's just a little reason, it might add to the big picture if you're already sort of considering it and thinking about it or even just interested doing your own thing marching to your own drummer so another quick short video until next time I'll see you guys later make sure you leave me a comment make sure you tell me some of the stuff your neighbors have done
I want to hear it. Don't give me names. Let me know some of the stuff they've done that you've watched your neighbors, you know, like, oh, one person does this and then... The <laughs> Let me know. We won't tell anybody.